Welcome back, heroes, to some more Monkey Island! <laughs> so, last time we, uh, go, uh, we got some credit from the, uh, the good old storekeeper. Oh, the good honorable storekeeper. Uh, do hereby, li uh, the liability of depths of the bearer of the note of the amount of 5,000 pieces of eight. So, <clears throat> we can go ahead and use that to go ahead and get our, uh, go ahead and go ahead. <laughs> To go get our ship so that we could actually sail to Monkey Island and rescue Governor Molly. Because we don't want to, like, leave her behind. Oh, no, no, that's not acceptable. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on down to Stan's Used Boots. And then we can see what we can wrangle from him with 5,000 gold pieces. Hello, Mr. Lookout. Goodbye, Mr. Lookout. Alright, used ship emporium. Now, I don't know why, but it used to be in the old game, you could just kind of double tap and you'd be there. But it doesn't seem to work on this one. Howdy! Great to see you again! I knew you'd come back! Everybody does! You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships! I got something for everyone! Come and take a look around! Yeah, he won't let you explore around here, because he's around here. Piece of crap. So, what else can I show you? Uh... Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality? Hey, that's my motto. I got just the boat for you. Walk this way. I <laughs> kind of clipped through him there. Now, you see, uh, you're a no-frills kind of guy, but I can tell quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. <laughs> Rugged, like a baby. She comes from land far from the north, where the sea is unforgivable as the men are tough, and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from, uh, happen to be from there, would you? You seem to have that sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about real value here. What kind of a price range are you thinking of? Uh, I got this credit from the storekeeper. Would you take it? I'd love to. I really would. I usually do. But not for the amount for this baby's gonna run you. Maybe you, uh, one of the other ships are more in your price range. So, what else can I show you? Uh, let's go with the cheap one. I knew it! I knew it! I just, you just couldn't get her out of your mind, could you? Walk this way. I'm doing this voice all wrong. Let me change this up. Hard to stay from a good mystery, isn't it? Uh, how much would you like to spend? I got this credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Come on, come on, come on. Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you had credit problems in the past. Divorce? Chronic gambling mishaps? I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the store uh, storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Now, let's get the uh, brass tasks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you, uh, you know that I want to sell it, so... Uh, what do you think it's worth? You can sell this puppy today with just 10,000 pieces of eight. How's that sound to you? Uh... I'd like to make an offer. Great! How much? Uh, I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. <laughs> sure, I guess we could start at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to get a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I gotta sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. 
Uh, okay. Let's talk extras. Extras? You, you want to talk extras? Great, this baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Uh, I think I live without that piece of junk. Okay, but I don't blame you. Uh, uh, blame me if you're running into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Uh, I think I can live without it. Sure, throw away, uh, throw safety to the wind. Wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion and rudder? Uh, I think I can live without it. We're just gonna get rid of all his extras. Maybe it'll bring the price down. I guess he'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the Veilier sail covers? I think I can live without it. <laughs> hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tracometer? That doesn't sound useful. We're just gonna tell all your stuff is junk, and then we'll see what your price is. Wow, does your wife know such a cheap skate? But wait, there's more! Did I tell you about the elevator made for, with wood from burgundy wine cake uh, casks? Uh, I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I guess it is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more! Did I tell you about the simulated wood sliding? Sighting? Well, let's see what his price is now. Okay, okay, where were we? What do you think it's worth? Uh, you could sell this puppy away today for just 7,750 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Nope, you gotta go lower. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? How does 4,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me uh, what it would take to sell this uh, ship away today. Uh, I'd like to make you an offer. Let's try the 5,000, see if you'll take it. Hopefully, he might. Great, how much? Uh, 5,000. That's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Yep. Here you go. Thanks. I gotta run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew? And I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I felt like some bonding here. And I don't say that to everybody. It's been a great doing business with you. Really. <laughs> Sucker. See you at the dock, and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Alright, so that means we need to get three crew members. And we could actually explore around this area. Okay. Ooh, can I use this grog machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use... Dun, dun, dun. Hmph. Nothing. Ah, oh, it ate my coin. Doesn't seem to work. Look at sign. I sold a ship. Can you believe it? I'm off on a long vacation, spending some poor man money, <laughs> poor sucker's money. Over there, you baby, Stan. Yeah. It's too bad it's not my money. <laughs> oh, that poor storekeeper. He's gonna be run out of business. All right, so we need three crew members. 
I'm thinking... I, I do believe I remember the three. Swordmaster would be one of them. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what she says. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. We're going to see the Swordmaster. Swordmaster, where are you? Oh, there she is. <clears throat> Hello. You've already got the t-shirt. More what do, you, what do you want now? Uh, the governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks very bad. I'm getting a, a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a bad feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the docks. <laughs> wow. That's the easiest crew member ever. I guess I, I beat her, so it works out. <laughs> right. So, let's see. Uh, we could try the person who trained me, but... <clears throat> oh, I know. Oh, meanwhile... Having just returned from Melee, Lee Chuck and his crew are in their old hiding place uh, underground, river, underground the rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir! I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping in the mission. <clears throat> Captain? Captain, are you alright? Ew. Never felt better! And how are the affairs, our prisoner? Oh yes, the prisoner. We had a little bit of trouble. Trouble? Nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times. But we got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting out, in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I am not taking any chances now. You take care of Threepwood, then. Guybrush Threepwood will not be a problem. This very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. You pro he probably bloated up like a fat p fattened pig now. His eyes eaten by c out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Uh, yes, sir. Yuck. Sure does at that. Now, go be checking on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, a route. I believe we were um, told about such a thing by the good old voodoo, uh, voodoo girl. Okay, so I think I know of someone else. So let's go ahead and head over to the prison. I don't know why he... Well, I mean, I guess he would be desperate enough to join... Makes sense. Yeah, well, let's 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 talk about this person. Hello, citizen of melee. Excuse me, but do you... oh, it's you again. I told you there's only one in existence. No, get lost. No, I don't. I don't think he wants to. Yeah. Uh, nah, I wouldn't want them. Even if they wanted to. <laughs> like the three stooges. Uh, not the storekeeper. I kind of ran him out of business. Oh, who's this? May I help you? I just on my way to the governor's mansion. Are you here for the looting? Looting sounds fun now I'm a pirate and all. And you have a reservation, sir? 
Why, yes, I do have a reservation. And what would your name be under? It's probably S for Shine Top. Nice try. But we book solid for the next five hours. I'm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around two o'clock. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine. Super. I'll put you down under the one to loot governor's mansion at 2.30. <laughs> uh, they're so organized. Hey! The governor's been kidnapped! What? <laughs> Look here on the note. G they kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad. I feel like kicking something. Hmm. I wonder if she left this, uh, her place unlocked. Uh, if I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure. Of course. To my emancipator, I should be internally indebted. Until then, I pass. Pace. Pace. <laughs> right, so... Let's go ahead and bust them out. I know of a particular chemical which is highly volatile. I mean, it like burnt straight through my bug, and that thing is probably pewter or something. So let's go ahead and see if we can go grab it. We just gotta head over to the good old bar. Open. Enter. Man, this place is just so dead. <laughs> They're all looting at the governor's mansion. Um, Guybrush. G Guybrush. Thank you. He's just bawling his eyes out. Poor old cook. Right. Uh, so let's go ahead and use mug with barrel. Do, 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 do. Let me just walk to the curtains. Oh man, it's already starting to melt. I think when it gets like a couple stages down, we'll go ahead and transfer mugs. That's uh, essentially what this puzzle is. You need to transfer it, but you gotta get it there despite it trying to, you know, melt on you. Uh, I think when it goes down one more stage, it's transfer time. Yeah, that's transfer time. Okay, uh, oh. Oh, oh. Use. With. Oh, it's gone. Oh, man. That's annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and grab another one. Alright, we got another one. We're gonna make it this time. Chin up, cook. I'll do it. <laughs> right, so we head through the door. Head on this way. This time we have to be a bit quicker. So I guess when we get to the end hallway there, we'll go ahead and transfer it. We got plenty of mugs. Alright, so use with mug. There we go. And now it's perfect. We're actually almost there too. Oh boy. Alright, we'll just do one more transfer when we get inside. Actually, might be fine. Use grog with luck. Hey, a, dr a drink. I'm really thirsty. Yikes! <laughs> wow! I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh, yeah, thanks. Sucker. Ha 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 ha! But, do we still have a deal? I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> he gave his word as a pirate. Because, <laughs> you know, that's uh, valuable. Hmm. Alright, so the last one, I happen to know where... Oh, no. Don't want to don't wanna go in there. I happen to know where the, the last guy is. 
And it's not the uh, teacher. He's uh, he's a bit of a coward. At least I think so. Besides, he's only in it for the money. And I need people who are proper crew. So... We need to head off onto uh, another part of the island to find our final crew. However, this is about time when I'm going to call it. So, if you guys like this series so far, leave a like. It always helps out a lot and lets me know that you guys are still interested. And also, yeah, also let me know in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying the series and, and whatnot. Because it will also help me determine if I should continue on with Monkey Island 2. Uh, also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like things like this and you like to see more things, uh, you know, we got a subscription there so you can see more things if you would like to join the heroes. Anyways, guys, this has been Session of Heroes of Fools, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>